Oh yeah, we're back. Before I start yapping, we do have a massive sex toy giveaway in a few minutes. What? So stay tuned for more details. It's gonna rock your world. I'm not kidding. Um, as you guys can tell, <laughs> I'm getting ready to go to the Super Bowl. Um, what? Did I manifest Travis Kelsey going into the Super Bowl? Yes. It's all because of me. You're welcome, Chiefs fans. I do what I can. Okay, I'm not actually going to the actual game, but I am gonna be in Vegas during Super Bowl weekend, and I am so excited. Every cell in my body is tingling at the thought of being in Las Vegas during the Super Bowl with Travis Kelsey in it. You know what I'm saying? It's my best of both worlds. Las Vegas, Travis Kelsey. Let's go. I could not be happier. And yeah, I'm not going to the game, but I need to be in the vicinity. I need to be in the atmosphere. I need to be in the vibe. And so that's what I'm doing. Basically what this video is, is I'm going to be unboxing, I don't know, unpackaging all of these stupid packages that I got for Vegas. I bought so much Chief stuff. It's kind of embarrassing, actually. Like you guys don't even know. It looks like I'm packing up and moving to Kansas City. I'm not kidding. I have so much shit. It. And I don't even remember what I bought. So this is gonna be a journey for the both of us. So yeah, this is just gonna be a pretty chill video. It's not gonna be too crazy. It's not gonna be like my last two videos. I just wanted to do a more chill video. I feel like I haven't just sat down with you guys and just yapped, I don't know. So before we get started unboxing all of this bullshit, let's go see what this sex toy giveaway is all about. Take it away, Sarah, from 30 minutes ago. All right, I'm gonna take a second and wait till my Aunt Carol clicks out of this video. You too, dad. Mom, I would tell you to click out, but I know that you won't. But Aunt Carol, you better be out of here. Okay, now that the relatives are gone, it's girly talk. It's girly time. You guys, Valentine's Day is coming up. And I don't know what your Valentine's Day routine is, but for me, I like to get a little... <laughs> I like to get a little freaky with myself. What else is there to do? And if you guys want to have some fun as well, I have some really good news for you. My friends over at Valesa and myself, we are giving away free vibrators to you guys. We're giving away free vibrators and we're also giving away free gift cards so you guys can get your own vibrators to everybody who signs up for my giveaway. I'm talking every single person that signs up for it. So you're gonna get one. How magical is that? Valesa is a buy women company for all things sexual wellness. Bellissa's mission is to empower everyone to embrace, to explore, and to celebrate their sexuality. These are some of my favorite toys that I got from them, okay? Y'all better listen up. You don't understand. If you haven't used toys before, these are the perfect toys to start with. They're not intimidating and they're cute. They're cute. Look at this little case. This is the charging case that it comes with. This is called the Pebble. Let me introduce you to her. She's so tiny and she comes with a charging cord. So you just plug it in and pop this little bad boy in there. And the Pebble, she's so cute. She sucks. <laughs> She's a suction girly. She's a vibration girly and you control it by yourself. You control it independently and it's built to fit perfectly in your hand. And this one has no annoying pattern modes. It's not going to be off beat. It's going to stay consistent and we love her. Okay, this one is called the Air Vibe and she is definitely a vibe. She looks like this, okay? It may look a little intimidating, but I swear it's not. Here's the charging case. Stick it in there like that. Easy. You could bring it anywhere. <laughs> it looks like powder, you know? Put it in your purse. <laughs> bring it out for a night on the town. <laughs> if you're at the club and the bathroom and just bored. And with the air vibe, it's dual stimulation. What? I'm talking G-spot and clit stimulation at the same exact time. Who doesn't want that? It's also waterproof, so do what you will with that. I don't know what you freaks do in your alone time, but it is waterproof. It's also rechargeable and it's silent. This one's silent, but it is deadly. <laughs> it is, trust me. We also got the Air Vibe Pro, so it's exactly like the Air Vibe, but this one is Pro, okay? Every single one comes with the cords too. But the thing that's special about the Pro is this one comes with a remote. There's so many different modes on here and you can just change it with the flick of your other hand. Just multitasking, you know what I'm saying? That's why God gave us two hands. And this one's gotta be my favorite, okay? This one is called the Thumb. Yeah, if you're picking up what I'm putting down. This one is called the Thump and I love this casing because it literally looks like an eyeglass case. Does it not? 
Also comes with a little charger. And this one is just so freaking cute. It looks like Plankton from SpongeBob. I find this one just so adorable. This one is my favorite. And I just like the way this one feels the best. I like a good thump. <laughs> from time to time. And this one does it all. It vibrates, it suctions, and well, of course it thumps. This one's really great for the clit. Very stimulating. Ooh, it's very nice. It's also waterproof, rechargeable. A little eye right here. <laughs> That's your friend. But yeah, I would use this one if you're just going all external. If you're an external girly like myself. So yeah, guys, just go to my description below, sign up for my giveaway and get a free vibrator. Why not? Or get a free gift card. Let's all celebrate ourselves this Valentine's Day. Or if you're in a relationship, you can get freaky with it too, okay? With your partner, mix it up, make it spicy. Get creative and have fun, okay? Thank you so much, Belessa, for doing this giveaway with me. I'm so excited. And now let's get back into the video. I told you guys it would rock your world. Hello? Okay, I don't even know where to begin. I guess I'll begin with the stuff that I already opened. Wait, but even before I get into that, let me just tell you guys about my freaking day. Oh my God. I woke up super early for therapy. Huh? And my therapist's office is like 30 minutes away. So I had to truck along over there. It was honestly a really great therapy session. We uncovered a lot. I felt really good after my session today. And it's not that I don't always feel good. I just always cry pretty much every single time I leave my therapist's office. But this time it was just so good. I don't know, like I was smiling. We were giggling, we were laughing. I feel like I've healed so much of my shit. This was like the first time I haven't cried in so long with my therapist. And even she was like, wow. So it was a really great day in therapy. But then once I was done, with my therapy session i felt like i needed to go back to my therapy session because i was like oh my god i have so much shit that i have to do today and of course it's the day before i'm leaving for vegas are we surprised i just love waiting till the very last minute to do anything just gives me that adrenaline you know it truly does though i don't know it's an adhd thing i just need to be pushed to the very last second to like so I bought this jacket on Etsy. It's so cute. It's this vintage Chiefs jacket, super expensive because <laughs> it was in the vintage collection. You know what I'm saying? It's so cute, oversized, obsessed with it. And I got it in the mail and I was so happy. I was like, yes, it came in time. It looks so good. And then I turned it around and then I saw the old Chiefs logo that they used to have, which they don't use anymore for valid reasons. And I was like, oh, I didn't know <laughs> that this was on the back of this jacket. And it's huge. It's like this huge embroidered logo, which was pretty offensive. And that's why the Chiefs changed their logo. And so when I saw that, my heart dropped a little bit. I was like, I can't wear this. Like, there's no way I can wear this. Ugh! But I'm so smart and I figured it out. I basically ran around after my therapy session. I ran around LA to all of these different embroidery places to see if they could cover it up somehow or like patch it up somehow. After my seventh attempt, I finally found this place. They're called Yes Embroidery. It's like, yes, with an exclamation point, embroidery. They rock, shout out to them. I was so frantic. I was like, can you guys fix this in less than like five hours? And they're like, we got you, just chill out. So <laughs> they're fixing that right now. And they're gonna call me at any point tonight to pick that up. So I have to go do that. Then I have to go get a spray tan later tonight. There's this place that I go to that opens till like 11 PM. So I'm just gonna get a late night spray tan. Um, <laughs> so it's, it's a pretty chaotic night over here in the Basca Vidal household, but hey, you know what? We're cooking. And then after I dropped my jacket off at the embroidery place, I got my nails done. And I don't really know, like these are really cute and cool and like, I could kill somebody. I truly could stab someone with these. They're so pointy and sharp. I've just never had nails this long before. So it's really hard to get used to it. Ugh, it's just weird. I, I like can't make a fist, but they're really pretty. I love the sparkles. Okay, <coughs> let's open these packages. Also, I got really sick twice. I got really sick after I came back from my EDM cruise. Oh my God, I cannot wait to tell you guys about that and show you guys that vlog. That will be up next month. Yeah, um, but that was crazy. Oh, okay. <laughs> why, why am I like this? <laughs> I have something exactly like this in sweatshirt form, but I guess that I just felt like I needed this in t-shirt form. Okay, Sarah. I mean, I get it. He's hot. <laughs> 
I just love these styles of shirts anyway. I think they're cool. I just needed Travis Kelsey in every single formation I could have. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna pack this. Okay, this I got on Travis Kelsey's actual website. It's like his own clothing brand. And I thought this was so cute. It's a Chiefs jersey. It's like jersey material. Very high quality. It's got his number on the back. Hello. And I love that it's a button down. Are you kidding me? And it's short sleeve. Like this is so freaking adorable. It's so funny because I'm only going to be there for what? Three whole days and I'm just going to have so much Chiefs shit. I don't know when I'm gonna wear all of this stuff, but I'm prepared. This was also on his website. Okay, I have to support my man, okay? I'm not just gonna get all this shit from Etsy and not support him directly. Who do you think I am? I'm not a fool. But yeah, the <coughs> oh my God. It's not COVID, I swear. And then this was also from his brand. It's so cute. Give me a break, I had to cough. Dude, I swear this is all just Chiefs bullshit. And I just became a fan a few months ago. Like, am I kidding? When I get hyper fixated on something, that's all I fucking care about. I know that I'm still gonna care about the Chiefs after this season too. I love them. But did I really have to go this ham? I'm just so excited for the Super Bowl and that it's in Vegas. Like, come on. This is also, wait, actually, I don't think this one is from his brand. No, this one is not. This one is not from his website. I got this one on Etsy. And then I got this one from his website. His brand is called True Colors, like true. Not even with an E, just true. True Colors with a K because TK, Travis Kelsey. Come on, get into it. I love that it's cream colored. <coughs> Okay, oh my god, you guys, I have so much stuff. Okay, so I had to get this. I saw this on Etsy too. It's like this Chiefs bralette. I thought that this would be cute to wear, you know, if I put a jacket over it with like a skirt, if I'm going out. I gotta rep them in some way, even if I'm going out to the club. And then got some <laughs> matching underwear. Look how cute this is. Come on, come on. This is so cute. I'm sorry. Oh my god, okay. Oh my God, Sarah. This is another cute tank top. <laughs> God. I'm such a poser. Like, who am I right now? Like, since when do I care about football? And since when do I care about Kansas City? I care right about now, bitch. <laughs> Look at this tank top sports bra thing. This is just like a cute little casual thing I could wear during the day. <laughs> I need options. I feel like it's Christmas, this is so fun. What the hell is this? Let me guess, it's another chief sweatshirt. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh, there's two. There's two. Why am I not surprised? They all look exactly the fucking same. I'm actually really happy that I'm bringing so much chief stuff because Caitlyn did call me in a crisis the other day and apparently she tried to buy like a really cool jacket on this website, but then she got scammed. She never got her jacket and she was just in a frenzy about it. And I was like, girl, don't trip. I've got more than enough for the both of us. I have enough clothes for an entire football team. I'm literally just gonna be throwing my clothes around all weekend. Like who wants a sweatshirt? I should probably just stand outside of the Super Bowl and just sell some of this shit. <laughs> like, honestly. And huh, what could this be? Oh, it's another sweatshirt. Who knew? Why do I do Dude, I swear I'm going to sell some of these. I'm gonna buy one of those card reader things and just hook it up to my phone and just walk around Vegas. Doesn't even stop there, people. This looks like it's gonna be the last of the clothing. This is like my last thicky package like this. What could this be? Oh, it's another sweatshirt. <laughs> oh my God, and guess what? It looks exactly like all of the rest of them. Caitlin's gonna have a field day, dude. What the hell are these? Oh, these are cute. Okay. I got these earrings on Etsy. Oh, these are actually so cute. What the fuck? They're the little chief symbols and they're glittery. Look at these. Okay, I'm obsessed. I did good. I did good. Not mad about that. <gasps> I'm insane. Just why, Sarah? Why, 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 why? Oh, sure, sure. Guys, it's a hat. It's a headband. I don't know what you guys thought, but wait, that kind of, that kind of goes off. I kind of love that. 
Okay, period. Okay, what is this? <laughs> it's a t-shirt. Wait, this is kind of slay though. It's tie-dye. Wait, okay. That's kind of fun. It does say Super Bowl champion, so I'm really hoping that they win. And if they don't, can't wear this. Well, I guess they are Super Bowl champions from before. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> so much snot just came out of my nose. <sighs> I'm doing great, guys. Now, what the hell are these? Ew, this is just another bralette. Okay, this is cute. Okay, it's like this. Probably looks exactly like the other one that I showed you, but I swear they're different. They are. And I'm assuming that these are some more underwear. Okay, I think that in my head, I was like, if I just wear Chief's underwear all weekend, they're gonna win. I have fabulous manifestation powers, clearly. Chiefs are in the Super Bowl. Let me just help them out by manifesting all weekend by wearing underwear. Cause like nobody knows, but like the universe knows that I'm wearing these. That's my personal connection to the universe all weekend. Instead of actual prayer and meditation, these are my prayers and my meditations. The universe knows. Okay, what's in this one? <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> but oh yes. Oh, I would get this. I don't even remember getting this. I ordered this so long ago. Oh, it's a bracelet with Travis Kelsey's number on it. The girlies who know, know. So cute. Give me a break. Just cut me some slack here. This is so cute. Oh, I love myself. I'm so happy that I got this. I think Taylor Swift has the same one. That's what's so funny about all of this, you guys. It's just the fact that I, I don't even listen to Taylor Swift. I love her as a person. I think that she's amazing. Wonderful songwriter, just not my style of music. I'm so sorry. Like I'm not even a Swifty, but like I'm so invested in this relationship. Like I'm so excited about football right now. Hello? Oh, this is so cute. Oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God, I'm obsessed with myself. Oh, hell yes. Okay, I got these necklaces. Yes! Oh my God, these necklaces. They say Chiefs. This one has like diamonds. These are just gold. Oh, fuck yeah. I forgot that I got these too. I'm loving this. I'm loving this a lot. I'm so bad with jewelry. I just always forget to bring jewelry whenever I travel, which is so annoying because whenever I get to my destination and I'm getting ready, I just don't have anything. So I'm really happy that I really took the time to think about this. Oh yeah. Some more Chiefs earrings. These are gold. Very nice. What is this? Oh my God, I'm so cute. <laughs> Take a shot every time I say I'm so cute or I'm obsessed with myself. Cause wow, I'm so obsessed with myself right now. Look at these earrings. Wow, those are so cute. <laughs> Loving that. Now what is this? Love this little baggie that it came in. Damn, the details. Oh, love it. Little footballs. They're earrings. Little footballs. Mm. Caitlin's gonna love me tomorrow. Just watch them lose. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, I'm not gonna put that in the universe. You didn't hear that. But if they lose, I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> like, are you kidding? If they lose, I'm gonna look like Boo Boo the Fool. Just a fucking buffoon. I'm still gonna love them even if they do lose. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. And then I forgot that I have this. It's just like this cute little crop top, just for the daytime, you know, I don't know. It's cute, it's like jersey material, it's nice. Okay, well that's basically it. I should probably take this off. Okay, now I'm gonna pack all of the rest of my shit. I need to bring some like cute skirts. I need to pack my makeup up. Oh my God. I did a whole shopping spree at Sephora. Oh my God, and then tomorrow morning I'm dyeing my hair. I have a 9 a.m. appointment. <sighs> all the way in downtown LA, which is gonna take me forever to get there. But it's gonna be good. I'm just gonna go darker. I'm going to Caitlyn's hair guy. She like swears by him, so. I just get so anxious about other people touching my hair. Ugh, I've just had really terrible experiences in the past of hairdressers just completely fucking my shit up. So I've always tried to do it myself or just avoid doing it all together. But Caitlyn swears by this guy. He seems really chill and he's really good. I'm not going like black, but I'm going very dark brown. 
I want to look like Miranda Cosgrove more than I usually do. I really like dark brown hair on me. But then also I'm like, I kind of want to switch it up when the spring and summertime hits and like go lighter, but not blonde. Oh my God, you will never catch me blonde ever again. That was traumatizing. Oh my God, I can't even think about being blonde. No offense to anyone who's blonde. If it works for you, it works for you. It does not work for me. Oh wait, I have another package. Let me guess, it's a t-shirt or underwear. <laughs> Oh wait, oh my God, I forgot about this one. This is a cute little tank top. Hell yes. This is so fucking cute. Excuse me? Oh, and it's from the NFL, like the actual, damn, let's go. Oh wait, oh my God, I missed these. Oh, look at how cute these are. Let's go, these are so cute. Wow, I really slayed that. I swear, if you guys need a personal shopper, if you have an event to go to, hit me up, I got you. Just give me a budget, tell me how much you wanna spend and I will find you the gear. I will find you the things and I have good taste. So you can trust me. Dude, I'm so good at this shit. Okay, I need to do laundry. Ugh, and I need to finish packing. And I can't do that while simultaneously filming myself because I get distracted and I take three times longer. So I'm gonna do that off camera. But I hope that you guys enjoyed that. That was really fun, that was chill. I hope that you had a good time hanging out with me. And the next video that you see, I'll probably be at the Super Bowl. Well, not really, but like in Vegas. And then the video after that will be me at the EDM cruise. I'm just gonna do Vegas first and the Super Bowl first, just because that's just like where we are right now in the world. EDM cruise will be after that. Perhaps the beginning of March. Yay! I hope that you guys enjoyed. Um, let me know who you're rooting for. And I'll see you guys at the game. Oh my god, I'm so annoying. <laughs> no, I'm not. My therapist would not like that. So talk. Okay, bye!